First on four, an alarming rate of child abuse cases are found right here in the valley. And local organizations are urging adults everywhere to be advocates for children. Action Force Wendy Aguilar attended an event tonight promoting awareness for the start of Child Abuse Prevention Month. Wendy. Marcy, a Harlingen woman is now a mother and can't imagine hurting her children. But she's a victim of child abuse and is telling her story to help others. Amanda Banda says she was just a baby when the sexual abuse started by her own family member. I, I can remember being in a pamper to have, you know, it removed to be abused. The abuse did not stop there. Years later, she was victimized once again. And then it kind of turned into physical abuse uh, in middle school by, by a boyfriend at the time. But Banda is not alone. Last year in the state of Texas, Child Protective Services investigated more than 168,000 allegations of abuse. Across the state, CPS reports that 151 children died at the hands of a parent or a caregiver. However, in Cameron County and Willacy County, Nathaniel Navy says they had zero deaths from child abuse. He says that is thanks to the combined efforts of law enforcement agencies, local organizations, and the community. Everybody's taking it a little bit more seriously and just realizing that this is a problem and we're getting better at reporting these cases. Banda says it is important to take a stand against abuse. And if you see a friend being abused, help them, tell somebody, let your parents know, let your school administrators know. As a survivor, Banda's message to others is simply this. I think it's, it's important to have hope and know that there is help out there. And you're encouraged to report any signs of abuse, whether it be a family member, a child at school, or a neighbor to the proper authorities, because your voice could make the difference between life and death for a child. Live in the studio, Wendy Aguilar. All right, Wendy, great to see a strong woman there speaking out tonight. Thank you. If you suspect abuse, call authorities immediately. But you can also turn to Monica's house, Maggie's house in Cameron County, or Estrella's house in Hidalgo County for help. Now, the numbers are listed on your screen. We will also have these numbers for you on valleycentral.com.